So let me share my screen. The Education with Technology Office of San Diego College Alabang introduces Open LMS and Blackboard Collaborative. Open LMS is the learning management system of all the academic departments of San Diego College Alabang. It is a cloud-based online learning platform which aids to an effective and an engaging learning experience for the students of SBCD. This shows the main page of the Open LMS environment for the SBCA Higher Education Departments. The URL is sunbada-alabang.mrooms.net. Users log into the Open LMS using their student number as their username and then assign the default password. Once logged in, a student gets to see his courses or subjects. A list of upcoming activities will be displayed on the right side, the deadline section, and as well as feedback and messages. Selecting a course, the student will see the contents on the left side, which serves as a course navigation. On each section or topic, the learning materials and resources shared by the professor will be seen, and as well as their required learning activities. As for the Blackboard Collaborative, it is the video conference and tool available in the Open LMS as one of its learning activities. It is a browser-based solution which allows synchronous engagement between the teacher and the learners. Joining this learning activity is easy. When a student has scheduled Blackboard Collaborate activity, click it and press the Join Session button. The Open LMS comes in handy with a mobile app. Previously on the Blackboard, it can be searched in the App Store or Play Store by typing Blackboard Open LMS. When downloaded, this enables a student to browse through the learning materials, view his grades, and depending on the other apps supported, allow submissions of learning activities. For open elements related concerns, please email ithelpdesk at sunredo.edu.ph. We will be glad to respond to you from Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thank you. Thank you so much. So that's a brief introduction of what Open LMS is and what uh, Blackboard Collaborative is. So right, uh, Open LMS is our learning management system. This would be the software tool which uh, we would access to see the, ref the resources, the learning materials, which our professors will, will be sharing to us. Learning activities such as assignments, uh, forums, and any other requirements would also be uh, done by your professors in the Open LMS. Okay, whereas the Blackboard Collaborate is the one we are using right now, actually, in this orientation, uh, we can also give, I uh, will also give a brief uh, review of the interface of Blackboard Collaborative. So, yes, uh -huh. we have uh, the portal, uh, sundada-alabang.mrooms.net, is shared by the higher education departments of SBCA. So, higher education includes the College of Arts and Sciences, your uh, School of Law, and the Graduate School. So, yeah. So, Right. Uh, at this point, we will be having the demonstra demonstration starting from how we log into Open LMS. So again, let allow me to share my uh, application. Okay, my screen. Okay. okay. So it's our portal. So with the, the username, which is equivalent to your student number, 
And then the fourth password, which we give to everyone that once we logged in, so I'm using a dummy account with your username, student number, and then your password. Yeah. Okay. Upon logging in for the first time with OpenLMS, you go straight to the first page notice. So if you press or close that one, you'll be led to this uh, page. Okay? Change your password to proceed. So just like any other applications like Facebook or the email applications we are using, so this is what we do the first time so that the password would be our preferred password. And take note that we have requirements here. So the password must be eight characters long. At least there must be one number or digit, at least one lowercase letter, one case letter, and one non-alphanumeric. So let me type in. New password. Okay. Uh, so it's detecting I'm sign, signed into another device. So okay lang yan. So the changes. Okay. And then it indicates password has been changed. So we just press continue and we again go to the landing page or the index, index page. Notice that the login button is not anymore on our view. Okay, yung, the two login buttons here previously is now replaced with the My Courses. So what we do is we click My Courses, and here we must see the subjects in which we are enrolled in. Okay, maybe for those who are able to log in, you see none or one or two or few uh, tiles on your dashboard. So it's because Currently, enrollment of your accounts to each of your subjects are still ongoing or in process. Okay, so for your subjects, okay, uh, the, the 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 description of the courses are displayed, and as well, if your professor has already uploaded their pictures on their courses, so you'll be able to see their uh, profile photos. Okay. Yeah, so on this view of your open LMS, you see also on the right side, deadline section or portion. So actually, it's not more of a deadline, but it's a reminder of what are your upcoming activities. Okay, just like for this example, we have a collaborative activity today. So that's 2 p.m. So... And then I have an assignment. So John Benedict A. Monastico, our dummy account, has an assignment, assignment to be submitted today as well at 3 p.m. So we'll be trying those learning activities in a while. And then uh, again, there is a quiz which has to be accomplished okay, on the day. So not only that activities or requirements within the day are displayed here, it's just that these activities were dated today just for the demonstration. But if in case you only have one deadline or one uh, upcoming activity for the day, the, the other activities for tomorrow and for the next days would be displayed here. Okay. And then also view your calendar okay, for all your other subjects. So combined po to, ha, the deadlines are combined for all your subjects. Okay. We'll also see feedback and messages sent to you. Okay, so what we usually do after changing our password is to set up our profile. Okay, so I'll be requesting you to go to the profile link just below your name. Okay, so there is a profile link. So if we press that, yeah, it would lead you to this view. Okay. So this view includes information of your details, your courses, or the subjects in which you are enrolled. So it's enumerated on this column. And then we also have the miscellaneous with the following information. And then we also have the reports. Okay. 
the first time after changing your password and logging in successfully. So we request you to edit your profile, okay? Only for two items, actually. So when we press edit profile, yeah, your name, your information will be displayed, okay? So what want you ensure is that the email address is an active email address, okay? So by default, when we created your user accounts, we used your Office 365 email addresses. Okay, so if you notice, John Benedict's uh, student number is 2020388. Okay, beda-alabang.edu.ph. So if your Office 365 account is not active yet, okay, you haven't used it even before, kahit na second year na tayo, so you can change your email address into an active one. You can edit, change it to an active one. Okay, so that's the first thing you have to check. Second is, the, the rest are default. So Montenlupa, countries Philippines, time zone is Manila. So second item you need to check, user picture, okay? So of course, so especially if it would be the first time for you to have a class with a professor, so there has to be a photo, okay, on your profile. So just like any other uh, applications, web applications, we just upload a picture here, browse from your PC, get the photo, and then, okay. So, after uploading, ah, sige, try na lang natin na mag-upload. So, let me try uploading photo. I hope I can find one here. So, alam po nung Okay, sorry. Pictures. Ayun. Okay. So, that's a photo of my So, press update profile. And there you go. So, may picture na po tayo. So, that's, that is what we require on the edit profile lang. Only those two items. The email address and then the photo okay now let's go back to our courses or our subjects okay so let's try selecting one course which also is uh, the one I used on the short video so the intro to cybersecurity subject okay so when when you select a course okay so this is the view that you'll be seeing so the 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 Page is divided into two columns. Nasa left side, ano naman to? This is actually the default view of any web page. Okay, we have the left side in a, a smaller column width, uh, which serves as the navigation. So you will see the contents of the course. Okay, so your professor can assign the sections of the contents either as for this example by chapter it can also be divided by topic whether naman if it's something like uh, constitution so it can be divided into articles okay or any other way so si prof po yung bahala on how uh, he or she organizes the lesson so as for this case it's array uh, it's displayed in chapters okay so we can select each of the sections of the course yeah so if we click introduction chapter one so you will notice this part of your screen changes because that means this is the content or these are the content under chapter two chapter three and so on okay so your professor can uh, uh, initially the, uh, the introduction of the course contains the course overview or course description and then this course syllabus outline okay so again this varies depending on what the professor shares to you in the open lms okay so if for example you have an upcoming collaborative activity so you would see the symbol or the icon and there is also a description or of or a title of the specific activity the information is also seen below the collaborate activity. By clicking on the next chapter, which is the need for cybersecurity. So your professor may share to you images, video clips, video. This one is 
a video uh, that is linked only and it's coming from YouTube. Uh, Open LMS allows you to allows your professor to embed the video and you to not going out of Open LMS. So on this on this uh, environment, uh, we can already watch the video. So let me try clicking this one. Okay. Uh, makita lang natin. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. And so this actually is a YouTube video, but we can view it straight on our Open LMS section. Okay. So pause ko na po yan, ha? Okay. So your professor can also upload uh, resources uh, relating to your subject. Of course, uh, if he wants to share slides, okay, which is in PDF format. So what you do is. You can click this one, and this automatically opens a new tab, yeah, and, and you'll be able to see, no need to download the PDF file, okay? So, you can close that one. If it's a document, okay, such as this one, the Introduction to Security and uh, Additional References, so these are in Word file, this would be opened automatically with your application. So, hindi lang nakita because I shared the Google Chrome, to you, it actually opened with Microsoft Word. Okay, so CPDF lang yung nag-open embedded on your browser using another tab. Okay, but for the documents, it opens the application itself. Okay, and then any other learning activities such as an assignment would also be viewed here. So let, we'll try accomplishing that one in a while. Okay. So browsing to another uh, chapter, yeah. So you can be given a quiz, okay, and some other. So ganyan na po. So this is how we see and get resources, which I know your professors would be discussing or giving you instruction when you meet them in your Blackboard Collaborate activity. Okay, so yan po. Okay, now. <clears throat> Let me go back to the dashboard. So, with the deadlines, yan, uh, we have a, an assignment and a quest to accomplish. So, actually, these are just the learning activities which I, I'll be including on this demonstration. And then, last one would be the collaborate activity. So, let's try answering one of those, which is the assignment. Okay, so let me... So, our professor said, so kindly answer assignment one, or chapter one. So, browse lang natin siya. Okay. So, for this assignment, okay, an assignment uh, as given by your professor can require either typing of in a given text box in OpenLMS or submission. Okay. So, this assignment was uh, set to Submit a file. So what do you do? What, what do you do as students? So you see the due date is August 24, 2020 and we have not submitted yet. That actually is your status as a student. Okay. Now to be able to submit, just click any of the links. Okay. Yeah. When either the status or the date, it leads you to to this window okay or to this page so it gives a summary of the assignment if professor if the professor has given a description or instruction that would also be displayed here so due is today 3 p.m about pa tayo, no so we still have 18 minutes and three seconds to submit it so that's right learning activities and requirements that are asked by your professors are uh, can be set with a deadline okay so, status is no attempt yet. Grade is not graded yet. Okay. So, we add the submission. Okay. We just press this, this button. Okay. And this leads us to the file submission page. Okay. So, of course, you have worked on your research on the brief history of internet. You have saved it on your PC. So, it's time for us to submit and upload. Okay. Ganun lang. So, we just click. The plus sign to upload allows where your document is saved. Okay, I think I've had it on my desktop. Okay, for example, this is my assignment. Assignment number one. So, we open. Okay, that would be attached in there. And then we press the upload file. 
Okay? So, once it's already here on this dotted rectangle line, so that means uh, you already have your submission, but you have to press the Save Changes button. Okay, so press po si Save Changes button, and you'll be again led to this window, the same window. This time, ang difference niya, ang status is already submitted. Okay, not graded yet, of course, because our professor would 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 uh, grade it in his preferred time. Okay, so will you be notified when the professor has graded your uh, your activity? Yes. Okay. So, ko yung notification. Now, why do we see edit submission and remove submission here? Okay. Depending on the settings which your professor has, this is actually the default setting, okay? As long as the time limit is not, uh, is not due yet, uh, sub due of the submission is at 3 p.m., right? So, one can still edit their submission. So, if you edit your submission, you can just delete your first submission and then add the new submission. So that's how we edit. Pwede rin ba remove submission? Pwede rin po. So that's an option for the student. Again, depending on the settings your professor has, so he can allow uh, 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 editing of the submission or not. Okay. But, but by default, uh, submissions of an assignment can still be changed as long as we have not reached the due time yet or due date yet okay so that's for the assignment okay so let's go back to our course and we see all other activities uh -huh. assignment so dito si assignment so let's go to chapter two okay under chapter two okay i really dated all the activities today para ma-access natin siya if for example professor has created the quiz and he dated it for tomorrow, syempre, we would be able to access them. Okay? Okay, so if, for example, we have a quiz and we want to take that quiz, okay, click lang ulit either the date link or the not attempted uh, hyperlink and then this would open with the following information. So the quiz opens. Today at 2 p.m., it will close also today at 3.30 p.m., okay? So, what we do is, yeah, attempt quiz now po, okay? So, this quiz actually is only for our questions. So, as you see on the quiz navigation view, uh, it, was, it was set or it was configured that only one question appears at a time on the page. Pwede ibahin yun ni professor. Uh, and then you would see how many number of questions or pages uh, you are expecting to answer. Okay. Okay. So, ano lang naman tong mga questions natin. These are just examples. So, we go to the next page for question number two. Okay. So, let me just make hula, I guess. <laughs> and then next page for the third question. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So, we accomplished. So, it doesn't need to be a multiple choice always. So, our professor has options to create either a multiple choice exam, a true or false exam, uh, a word match exam, or yung tatawag natin na fill in the blank. Pwede rin naman na matching type. Okay, so, just for this example, we have the quiz in multiple choice. We're just... Uh, very few questions. So, yeah. So, for example, these are our, uh, my answers. Okay. And we are done. We're done with the last question. So, you will see the button finished attempt. Okay. So, we just press finish attempt. Okay. And immediately, you'll be given the status. Okay. So, answer saved, answer saved, answer saved. Okay. So, now, for your attempts to be recorded, so we need to press submit all and finish. So, by the way, before that, why is there a return to attempt? Okay, that's 
rely on the settings also that was done by your professor. These are the default values. What I what was changed here are just the dates, the due dates. Okay, so pwede kang mag-return to attempt when allowed by your professor. Then again, when you're done answering all the questions, we just press submit all and finish. Okay, submit and finish. So a confirmation dialog box open. Once you submit, di na pwede mag-change ng answer. So press again to confirm. Yeah, and you'll be given your scores. Okay, so ang question is, so are we always given the scores? So pwede ibahin po yan ulit ni professor. So he can, he or she can give the feedback right away or he or she can hide this information which you see below because it's telling us what the correct answers are, right? Uh, this score tells us we only got 5 out of 10, 5 Five percent, I five out of ten points because uh, that's the scoring uh, we have for the quiz. So, yeah, so the correct answer must be. So, you're given the feedback, okay, of all the questions. Okay, so mali tayo dun sa questions three and four. Okay, so when done, okay, pag nakita na yan, so you already know your, your, your score, that would be recorded on your grade book. Okay, so finish review lang. Okay, so when we are finished with our review, so you have your summary of your grades. Yan. Yan. And all other information. Okay, so that's how we accomplish or complete a question by your professor. Okay, so yeah, I would like to entertain questions so far if you have me to show this to you so that you will know how to log into your collaborate classes on uh, Monday. Okay. I'm sorry, on Wednesday rather. Okay, so I'm sharing again my screen. Okay, Adlines, you would see an, a collaborate activity which is due today. So how do we join it? So it's either you click onto this link or you can also go to your uh, course and then proceed with the with the collaborate activity. So let me just get to this colla that collaborate activity. I think it's in chapter two. So this is dito. <laughs> okay. So I think it's in chapter three. All right. Okay. So this one, yeah, uh, yeah. This one is the current activity. For example, po, on my class today, we have a collaborate activity. My professor set it to this time to 2 to 3.30. So how do you join the collaborate? It's different on how you join this orientation. Because with this orientation, you were given a link. But for your classes, you don't have to get a link from your professors because you are enrolled to the Open LMS course, to your course, and therefore you can access the collaborate activity from here. So when you see this type of collaborate activity, of learning activity, the date is today. What you, what you do is just to click, okay? select lang po si collaborate activity, just select it. And then on the next page, you see the description and the time allotment, and then just press the join session button, okay? When you press the join session button, okay, so this would actually open a tab on your browser. So I'm showing now uh, the view of the class or the August 24 online class set, set by my professor. So for this for this scenario, it will just be me joining in the session. So okay lang naman yan, but I'll give you a quick tour of what we see on Blackboard Collaborate. So on the upper left side is the session menu. On the session menu is where we uh, leave the session. So yung button to leave the session is on the bottom most portion of this session menu. And then you would also see the collaborate panel on the lower right part of your media room. When you expand that, it would lead you to the chat, okay, which we are using right now in our collaborate meeting. You'll also see the attendees panel. Uh -huh. And if you will be allowed by your professor to share content, so that's the next uh, tab on the collaborate panel. And then some of the settings you individually can 
can change. Okay? Notification settings, audio settings, so pwede niyong baguhin yan. Okay? So, that's for the collaborate panel. And then, finally, on, on the middle part of your media room, sa so lower part, is again your status and settings. So, you can have your, kumbaga sa Facebook, yung feelings nyo. You can be happy or sad or whatever. So, you can change back. You can put an agree or a disagree icon which also displays on the attendees panel. Naka-agree ako. Yan. And then, of course, you can use the raise hand. Okay, raise hand. Attention of your teacher para malaman niya that you want to recite. For example, di ba? During your class, recite on sinabi ni teacher or wants to answer this question. So, you can raise your hand and uh... Wait to be acknowledged until you you your microphone when you are allowed to. Just for this purpose, hindi um, for this purpose naka on yung mga microphone natin, de ba? But by default, when joining the Open LMS, uh, naka participant po kayo. So the teacher, the teacher can do the settings how they want the participants to join the media room. Okay. So actually, that's it. That's for the Blackboard Collaborate. So. Stop sharing ko na again and I can enter you for the questions na on uh, na open elements and then of, also for a Blackboard Collaborate. Okay, Thank you, Ms. Leia.